This is your dreamy host, Two Dreamy Luigi. Welcome to the Seven Sages Podcast. Here with us are Impa Dude. Hey! Mother for Eternity. Save Fuzzy Pickles! <laughs> um, Mr. Sushi. Sushi is ever? Um, Magenta Mushroom. Hi. And MK Kings, too. I'm really feeling it. Yes. Yes. Cool okay. impression there. <laughs> so our topic today is going to be gaming in general or general gaming. So let's get the first question out of the way. So the first question, name some... Vi- I, I, mean, I mean, we forgot to do the order. Okay. Let's oh, whatever. We'll, the, we'll figure it out. Order. Okay, the order for this is going to be... Impa dude. Oh, thank God! First, like that's been. Mister oh, Sushi. Yeah. Um, MK Kings Two. Yeah. Mother for Eternity. Hello. Denise. Wait, he's not introducing. <laughs> and Two Dreaming Luigi, which is me. So let's get the really? first question out of the way. The first question is, name some video game series you love and or enjoy. It could be something based off of Nintendo, or it could be something that's not Nintendo related. And if so, it's Microsoft, you can shoot yourself in the head. Um, anyways, I like Zelda, because Zelda is Bay, Mario, Smash Bros, and I also love Minecraft. So, yeah. Um, my favorite, uh... My favorite franchise is probably Super Mario, of course, um, but I also really love uh, horror games. I don't think that's a franchise, but if there was a franchise of horror games, I really love the Slender games. They're super scary and atmospheric, so, yeah. Okay, so I grew up with um, Pokemon and Mario, so they're like my big two, I'm like a fanboy for them. I also love the Animal Crossing series, and I also like Zelda and Smash Bros and stuff. Who doesn't? So yeah, those are like mine. Um, well, I like Smash Bros. and almost every Nintendo series. They're my favorite. I especially love Earthbound, of course. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Wait, so it's my turn now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why we're saying each other's names. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, basically, I just like Minecraft. That's what I, that's my thing, so, yeah. <laughs> Yay, well, Minecraft! I- Okay. Well, as for me, we all know that I love the Mario series, so I'll just skip. I'll just skip that one. I love the Donkey Kong series because it delivers a good challenge while at the same time being fair to the player is hard, but a fun type of hard. I love the Kirby series to death. Copy abilities are for the most part not situational, which is a good thing. Plus, plus you can't go wrong with a cute pink marshmallow. Sonic is. <laughs> So, Sonic is another series that I love to death. I love the sense of speed and the speedy gameplay of the Blue Blur himself. I do feel bad for Sonic because Sega can't seem to get the Sonic cycle out of balance. So, um, other series I've enjoyed are the Ratchet and Clank series, Dragon Ball Z series, and the Super Monkey Ball series, and I that's all I have Monkey. to say. Okay. All right, next question. What, what are the things you despise in video games and explain why? Okay, well, number one, uh, I think a lot of us can agree with this one, water levels, because I can never beat them, okay? So, ah. you know, get those, like, super weird fish things out of Mario, because I don't give a crap about them. I just need to get through the level so I can get all the star coins, so I can mean? go into, like, Princess Peach's castle or whatnot. Also, that one quest in Super Paper Mario where you had to, like, get the piccolo and you had to get that, like, one magic ball to, like, the one girl and she had to bring it to another guy and blah, blah, blah. And it kept going on and on. And then you finally got to, like, that little temple thing and then the woman gave you the thing and you had to give it back to the other guy and blah, 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 blah. And you had to go all the way back. It took about, like, an like, hour out of my day. So let me just say I despise that. Jimmy, you're like a white boy version of Dark Bull. <laughs> Wow. Um, I think what I hate about um, uh, blah, 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 blah. what I hate about games are first-person games on home consoles. Why? Because because to look around, you have to use the, the you have to use the right stick, and it always doesn't go far enough in one direction, or it goes like too far. I mean, I probably could, I probably should just get better at using it, but still, it's so annoying, and I hate it. 
So basically, you're saying that you don't like Call of Duty. Yeah, I don't like Call of Duty. No one should like Call of Duty. Actually, I don't like Call of Duty just for that reason. Okay. Call of Duty actually is a good game. It's just the community that plays it. All right, MK Kings 2. Okay, well, I fit into this category completely, as I just mentioned, but I hate fanboys and fangirls. Like, yeah, I hate myself, basically. Who basically just say that, like, they don't admit that a game is bad. When a game is bad, it doesn't mean the whole series is bad. It's just the game in general. So please admit that. The second thing is when games are on live support, and basically the, the only thing that's keeping them going is the hardcore die fans. They just won't let the game die. Just let it die, let it finish, and let it win out like I know. don't die. So annoying. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, guys, can I just say something? I'm like sitting here, my dog is on his bed with my other like little dog. And the little like when my big dog gets up, my little dog like starts humping it and like it's like walking <laughs> and, and humping it. So yeah. Alright, anyways, go back to whoever's next. It's mother for eternity's turn. <laughs> okay. Well, the thing I despise in games, well, I'm going back to what Impetus said, I do hate water levels. Well, I was really young, and I always didn't like them. I hated swimming a lot, especially in video games, but yeah, I guess that's it. But I also hate lag and very bad slowdown and glitches. Yeah, oh. I'm done. Um, what I hate in video games are... Wait, like, Denise, Denise, your mic is, like, really bad. It's fine now. Okay. Okay. Oh, the fact that, like, I'm really bad. Like, your mic is awful. Don't worry, I know robot. I know robot. No, Denise, I'm not even joking. Like, you sound really bad. So it's when people are bad at video games. Okay, yeah. Sushi, be the translator. <laughs> so, is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's get logical around here, kiddies. I have two aspects that I despise in video games. Number one, cryptic gameplay. This is something that I hate in video games. I don't like it when I'm stuck in a level slash hub world, not knowing what to do next. This is probably why I'm not a Zelda or Metroid fan to begin with. I don't mind if it's just for two or three occasions, but if I have to do this tedious task more than more times than I, sh than I should, I'm just going to give up. It's not my fault if I get lost. It's a discouragement to first-time players, and I feel like there should be a way to cater to both experienced and first-time players. Sure, walkthroughs are easily accessible, but to me, I feel like I'm forced to look at for one for a solution instead of curiosity. Number two. Levels that drag way too long. Three. Perfect examples are Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, and Sonic Lost World 3DS. Especially the second and third examples. Sonic Heroes is the least offender, but some levels take at least seven to ten minutes just to complete just to complete it, which is a bit too long for a regular Sonic level. And yes, I agree with you, Mother for Eternity. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic Lost World 3DS has Two, I repeat, two many levels that take around nine minutes, 14 minutes, or even 24 minutes to complete them. That yeah. baffles me because you because you could have easily split the length of the level between three to five minutes. We're not asking much, okay? Honorable mentions are padding, questionable design gimmicks, and finicky physics. Case closed. Great. Next question, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Third question. What are your thoughts on the modern era of gaming? I like this era of gaming. HG is becoming a key component of gaming. I also like how like everything's turning into 3D, like 3DS and everything. I also really enjoy how Nintendo's starting to listen to their fans a little more, and they're adding fan fan like favorite characters to Smash Bros for instance uh, some of such are Rosalina and Luma and st um, some characters like that Mega I Man. still would have liked Lucina. yeah Lucina <laughs> Mega Man I would have liked to see Impa because damn she's good yeah um, but yeah yeah um I think the games are a lot more fun because they use the newer hardware which expands the awesomeness of the games and um uh, on what Jimmy said about, uh, of Rosalina and Luma being a fan favorite, that 
we want him to happen. Um, can I just say that everyone loves Rosalina, but no one wanted her in Smash. Yeah, I was actually, like, I was kind of surprised when she was announced for Smash. I was kind of expecting... I mean, yeah. I was she expecting Daisy, to be Smash. honest. She's, she's cool I thought and Daisy all. would be in it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's more main of the Mario character. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, she has more combat experience. <laughs> She's a tomboy. Back to Mario Party yeah, 3, she's anyone? Rough. <laughs> yeah. And you said that fast. HD is really new. That's only for home consoles, just saying. True, but most people <laughs> play home consoles. Yeah. Uh, I guess it is new on home consoles, so. Yeah. Okay. Which DS? I guess. I'm coming soon. Oh, that'd be awesome! MK Kings. Yeah, I like how graphics are evolving. I also like how um, games are changing nowadays, and they're still keeping some of that retro style to them. Um, things I don't like is that first-person shooters are, like, taking over, um, completely, like, over the market. I also don't like how phone games are taking over nowadays. Uh, it just seems like they're too popular games, when you've got stuff games. like Nintendo. But, yeah, I, yeah, that's basically it. Alright, my turn. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I really like, I really like HD gaming now. I mean, the graphics look really beautiful, especially for the Wii U. I wish they could do the same with the 3DS one day, but... Xenoblade Chronicles for the 3D coming soon. It kind of looks HD-ish. No, um, it doesn't. It doesn't well, at all. Yeah, I guess that's kind of it. But I also like online gaming now. I really use it a lot now. Yeah, I do too. All right, Denise. That was like the. Okay. Wow, I said um a lot right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I think that it has like advanced like a lot. I think that, like, games now are better than before because, like, obviously new technology, like, different ways to playing it and stuff. And, um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about it. Just, like, a lot has changed. I'm not sure if it's a good change or a bad change, but I like it, so. Yeah. Dreamy. <laughs> okay. The my era of gaming is advancing pretty well, especially with technology advancing throughout the media. We're receiving good games for the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. I don't know about the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Slash Vita. I, I wonder if there's going to be an upcoming Sonic game for those systems, but not to get off topic there. I do have one problem, one baffling problem, and this is going to sound very nitpicky. Developers really need to stop being lazy or rushing their games out the I window. Know. Sonic like, Sonic Pink, them. gold, peach. Well, uh, Enough said. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. She wasn't rushed. No way was she rushed. They didn't rush their uh, game with that. Well, as I was gonna say, she was like, supposed what to be heard Kings out. Two and David. I mean, Mother for Eternity said Sonic Boom Rise the Lyric, Mario Party Island Tour, and Yoshi's New Island. It's a it's a huge disappointment when developers do this, and they never realize the problems they, they have implemented into the games. It's like making a waste of a sequel. You've just disappointed most of the fans. It's not something that aggravates me, but it baffles me to the point where they need to test their games, even if it means delaying it. Uh, I just don't understand. I, I'm i not trying to sound like a stereotypical fanboy, but... It's what I think developers should do from now on. But other than that, the My Era is doing great. I have no major complaints. Okay. So on to the next question. Wait, hold on. Can I say something? I forgot to. Yeah, what? Um, sure. On what Dreamy said about how they rush their games sometimes. Um, yeah, I totally agree with that. But only if it's like an indie game. Like if they have an indie game and they want to get it out soon. Like, just take your time making it good. But, like, if you take Nintendo and Mario Kart 8, I can understand them putting Pink Gold Peach in, because everyone's been hyped. This is a huge thing. This is the next Mario Kart, and it, it's coming out on May 30th, everyone knows. But if they delayed... Imagine if they delayed the game. Do you know how much... Do you know how much outrage they would get? There would like, be a lot oh of out... God. Okay, Sushi, okay, I get it. All right, we all get it. All right, next question. Well, what I mean by delayed, I'm talking about, like, if it doesn't look good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, saying. yes. Please, let's go but on to the anyway, next question. anyway, on to the next question. What game consoles and handhelds do you own in your possessions? Well, here's a list. I own a GameCube. I own a Wii. I own a Wii U. I own a Game Boy Advance SP, a DS, and a 3DS, and a 3DS XL. I like that accent of yours. 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Accent, excuse me. I don't have okay. no accent. Uh-huh. I have like a Philadelphia. I have like a. Uh, fi- moving on. Let's just... <laughs> um, well, I have a lot. Let's see. Um, I have a DS Lite, a DSi XL, a 3DS, a 3DS XL, an Xbox, an Xbox 360, a GameCube, a Wii, and a Wii U. Oh, and a computer, if that counts. Oh, and if you count emulators, I have. Uh, Virtual Boy, NES, Sega Genesis, yes. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Um, yeah. Uh, there's one more. Oh wow! Uh, oh wow! Whatever. Forget yeah. it. No one cares about it. All right, MK. All right. So I don't have a lot of the old consoles I had. Like I've owned so many over the years, but I usually sell them and replace them and stuff. So I've only got a 3DS, a Wii U a PS4, and I still have my Wii and my old DS, but, um, yeah, I, I sell them a lot these days. Next person? Well, okay. it's your turn, Well, huh? What? No, it's your turn. <laughs> well, it's your turn. Oh, okay. Well, um, I have a, I used to have a Game Boy Advance, um, a DS, a DS Lite, 3DS, 3DS XL, Wii, Wii U, and I guess that's it. I can't remember any more old ones I used to have. But third party, I guess I used to have um an Xbox 360, a regular Xbox. And wait, 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 wait. Xbox is not third party. Just saying. Keep going. Well, yeah. if we were staying on Nintendo, I guess. Oh, I suppose. Keep going. Well, we are the it. seven sages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Denise. Oh, unless you're done. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm like... 20 things, and I'm just here like a DS Lite and a Wii, like a regular one. And the, oh um, god, your mic is so awful. Don't I'm worry, so I speak robot. robot. She said, I have a, a, a DS Lite <laughs> and a P and a computer. Okay, so, all right, so. good enough. Wait, my mic is messed up. <laughs> it's a little messed up, it sounds a bit a bit choppy. And your mic is super loud, Jimmy. Don't talk so much. Yeah, sorry. I, I need it for the fact that like the podcast is recording you guys. So yeah. Alright, next question. Oh wait, no, we need to wait for Dreamy. Are you trying to ignore the host right there, Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you're not the host. Damn. No, okay. Yeah, for my so. response, I own a Nintendo GameCube, a Wii. A Yoshi Nintendo 3DS XL, a Wii U, a PSP, which I haven't picked up like forever, a PS2, which I also haven't picked up like forever, and a PS3, which is the only PlayStation console that I actually play on. Awesome. Cool. So the next question, or the last question, list some games that hold a special place in your heart. Oh, baby, we're going to have some games to say. Um, so, mine are all GameCube. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. No. Mine are all GameCube games because GameCube is my nostalgia factor in my life. Um, so, Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, Mario Sunshine, and also one other one. Guys, someone has, like, their air vent going on. Like, can you mute your mic, please? Everybody? Yeah, sorry, me. Okay, that's much better. Um, so, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Sunshine, because that's Bay, and, okay, you guys are gonna be like, what the, f- who, who the hell, okay, what the hell is that game? Um, SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard uh, that. I actually played that game. Oh my god, oh my god. that nostalgia. <laughs> that nostalgia. That. Okay, anyways. So much nostalgia from SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> problem. <laughs> I actually do have that game on my PS2, and I did beat it. I bu- I beat it on my GameCube. That was a good game. All right, Ronan. Um, well, the only game that holds a special place in my heart is Portal 2. Um, I remember spending, like, afternoons upon afternoons, getting only, like, a little bit farther every week, and, like, the frustration the game causes is really special to me. I mean, fuck Half Life Three. Just make Portal Three. Yeah. Who agrees with me? Half Life Three. Cricket. Confirmed. Cricket. Cricket. <laughs> okay. I'm K Kings. All right. For me, I have to say Mario Kart DS because it was the first Mario Kart that I got into. Like I played the other ones, but 
I never really got into them that much. So Mar seeing as Mario Kart's like my favorite series nowadays, it has to be Mario Kart DS. Another one I like is Pokemon Diamond, because that was like my first like, um, Pokemon game I got into. And uh, finally Skyrim. I, I have a weird fetish for killing dragons. So I don't know why, but that was just always something I enjoyed. All right. Uh, Mother for Eternity, I think. Yes. Okay. Earthbound. Mario Kart, Double Dash, and um, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Because those were the first those were the first GameCube games I had. And Mario Kart Double Dash, it just it was the first Mario Kart game in my life. And Super Smash Bros. Melee, I really liked it a lot. I always wanted to play it when I was young. So yeah, that's it. Okay, um Denise isn't here because um her sure, mic sure, sure, is sure. Doesn't matter. all cray cray. I will so. answer for I will ask I will answer for Denise, no problem. Okay, dreamy. Keep going. Okay, so spoilers, Perfect. all the games that I'm going to list are GameCube games. Games that hold a special place in my heart are Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Earthbound, Pay um, just to put words in my mouth. <laughs> Just keep well, going. As I was saying, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, Super Smash Brothers Melee, and Mario Kart Double Dash. Luigi's Mansion and Super Mario Sunshine were my first games I ever owned in my life. Mario Kart Double Dash was my nostalgic my nostalgia game. Super Smash Brothers Melee was a long and fun experience. And Paper Mario thought your door gave me nightmares. Most of the enemies look too bizarre for a Paper Mario game. Plus, it's a dark game, so yeah. I'm happy that I'm happy that I have these games in my collection. I would love to play any any one of them during my time. Oh yeah, and honorable honorable mention is Sonic Riders was my first Sonic game I ever played, and that's how I like the Sonic series so much. Um, I will answer for Denise. I'm pretty sure that it's Minecraft. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> we we all know what that did. Well, I thought you was gonna give a stupid question. Oh oh, yeah, I like Sonic Adventure Two Battle Two. Okay, oh. well. Oh, and I really like Harry Potter and or the Order of the Phoenix, oh, for the f video game. Who the hell plays that? It was my very first video game. Okay, it was for my DS. It was called Harry Potter the video game. Harry Potter Five the video game. Uh, it's uh, so kind, kind of makes sense, but it's anyway, so that's the end of the Seven Sages podcast. So Yay. thank you all so much for Thanks. watching. If you want to, if you're interested and you like this podcast, then maybe subscribe to us, please, and give us a like and maybe give us a comment if you want to. No, but anyway, that's the end. Of <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys, so much, uh, for guys. Yeah. Holy God! No, we're not. No, Ronan. No, we're done. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. Bye!